WGOL Channel 7 News. I'm Rose Lyles. And I'm Mose Delane Belton. And today is Sunday, November the 25th, 2018. Today, come and see Papa's brand new bag as Brother Mo Mack represents Gola in the Grandfather of the Year contest today at 3 p.m. at the Village Inn in Clemens. For more information, you may see Brother Mo Mack or Reverend Henry. Monday, Mama Clara's Christmas play, we will have rehearsal. We also need stage hands. So if you have a skill in drawing or putting things together or painting, please come out on Monday night to help us out. On Tuesday, we're still getting fit with Frank at 545. And everybody was kung fu fighting with Brother Al at 6 p.m. Also, Vessels of Praise will have their rehearsal at 630. Remember, though, there is quarterly conference on Tuesday at 6 p.m. All reports are due and should be turned in to the church office. On Wednesday, 12 noon Bible study. Then 5 p.m., Gola Genesis Dancers will rehearse. 6 p.m., we'll have corporate prayer. And 7 p.m., we'll start with Bible study and classes. On Thursday, Sanctuary Choir Rehearsal is at 6 p.m., also on Saturday at 10.30 a.m. On Friday, November the 30th, honey, come get your soul food. You probably tired of that turkey, so come get you some meatloaf, some baked chicken with them onions and peppers and everything. Woo, honey, it's $10, and we do deliver. So if you have any orders, please contact Sister Brandy Hunter. Coming up, we have a sock sale. It's winter time, y'all. You're going to need some toasty and warm on those toes. So the Women's Home Mission Society is having a sock sale on Saturday, December the 7th and the 8th. Also, December the 13th and the 14th will be a sock sale. So come on out and get your socks. They're $1 a pair. Winston-Salem State University's Department of Health Physical Education and Sports Studies, in partnership with the American Heart Association, will present a Jazz Brunch and Health Equity Symposium on Saturday, December the 15th, from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Albert H. Anderson Center. This event is free, but registration is required. For more details, please contact Dr. Cynthia Williams-Brown or Marion Anderson Booker. Up your fiber intake. Along with protein and good for you fat, fiber is one of those nutrition elements that keep you full and fueled all day long. And if you're trying to get fit and shed some pounds, fiber is your best friend. In fact, in one American Heart Association studies, participants who consumed 30 grams of fiber a day ended up losing weight and improving their heart health. So when it comes to staying slim, healthy, aim for that 30 gram fiber goal. This is your healthy advice tip for the week. May your stuffing be tasty. May your turkey be plump. May your potatoes and gravy have nary a lump. May your yams be delicious and your pies take the prize. And may your Thanksgiving dinner Stay off your thighs. This has been your Motivational Moment by Mo. Happy 53rd anniversary to Wilson and Fanny Porter. Mose, I read in the newspaper on last Friday an article on the Sutton family. What's going on with that? 
Well, it's the Sutton Affair at Glenn Senior High. Jaden is a senior quarterback. Mom Deborah is an English teacher and a graduate of the best university in the whole wide world, Winston-Salem State University. Their big brother, Kyrie, is the running back coach for Glenn. He graduated from Glenn in 2010 and is a Wake Forest alum. Baby boy, Brandon, is the water boy. And dad, Marcus Sutton, graduated from the University of South Carolina, a Sutton affair. And I might want to add also that Jaden is also one of our junior ushers. Congratulations to the Sutton family. Today, Rose, we are going to recognize Owen Newell. Owen, please stand. On last Saturday night, Owen was recognized with the Edwin O. Tracy Senior Award. This is the highest award that you can receive as an usher. He was also awarded perfect attendance. And he wants to thank all of the ushers at GOLA for their support and their help in making this possible. Let's give him a hand. And I might want to add that Owen Newell is also the president of the Winston-Salem District Ushers. Congratulations, Owen. Hi, I'm Tammy Sheff with your entertainment news. How many of you watched the show Dancing with the Stars this past Monday? In this finale, they had a rising star, Lauren Daigle, to perform. She is an American contemporary Christian music singer and songwriter. She is touching many through her music, one being Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez shared that through tough times, she was touched by one of Lauren's latest songs named This Girl from her 2018 album, Look Up Child. Lauren was an inspiration for her at her lowest moments. Lauren Daigle has also performed on The Ellen Show. What Lauren did was no ordinary thing. She wasn't only performing her latest, performing her latest album, but she was breaking down barriers to the secular world. Even knowing that she appeared on a show with an openly gay host stands to show that God can and will use someone any place, any time, on any platform to tell the world about Jesus. Just as it says in Colossians chapter 3, verse 23, whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord and not for men. 